how to fix BlueStacks fail to connect to server issue. There are several factors that can cause the BlueStacks fail to connect to server issue, ranging from an interference from the antivirus program to a network settings issue. In this latest installment of our troubleshooting series, we will tackle the BlueStacks fail to connect to server issue. Before performing the recommended troubleshooting steps for this particular problem, I suggest that you try restarting your computer first. This will refresh the operating system, as well as remove corrupt temporary data and is quite effective in fixing most software-related issues. First, temporarily disable your antivirus. One of the most common reasons why this problem occurs is because it is being blocked by your antivirus program. To check if this is what's causing the problem, you should try to disable the antivirus. If you are using Windows Security, Avast, APG, or McAfee, you can visit our website ecpcmod.com or thedroidguy.com on how to temporarily disable your antivirus program. In here, we will temporarily disable Windows Defender antivirus programs. To do this, press Start or Windows button, located at the lower left. Then, click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear to open Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Then, click on Windows Security, located at the left pane. Click on Firewall and Network Protection Options. Then, click on your active networks. Then, toggle off Microsoft Defender Firewall option. After temporarily disabling your antivirus, check if BlueStacks failed to connect a server issue still occurs. Next, add BlueStacks to the exception list of your antivirus software. If you are using Bitdefender, Avast, McAfee, Kaspersky, 8V, and Malwarebytes, you can visit our website thedroidguy.com on how to add BlueStacks to the exception list of your antivirus software. For Windows Defender, click Windows or Start button. Then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear to open Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Then, click on Windows Security at the left pane. At the Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection. A new window opens. Click on Manage Settings at the Virus and Threat Protection tab. Scroll down and click on Add or Remove Exclusions at the Exclusions tab. Click it and you will be navigated to a menu where you can add exclusions. Click on the folder option and navigate to your BlueStacks directory. The default location is usually on your drive C. Then, Program Files folder. Next, click on BlueStacks folder and click Select Folder to add BlueStacks to the exception list. Next, Exit Exclusion window. Then, Exit Windows Security window. Check if the BlueStacks fail to connect the server still occurs. Next, restart the internet connection. One factor that can cause this problem is an issue with the internet connection. If this is what's causing the problem, you should try to reset this. To do this, at the search bar, located at the lower left of your windows, type network connection then click on the result to open network connections section. At the Network Connections section, locate your current network connections. Then, right-click it and choose Disable from the menu. After your connection is disabled, wait a few seconds. Then right-click the connection again, and choose Enable from the menu. Then check if the BlueStacks failed to connect to server still occurs. Lastly, reinstall BlueStacks. In case the mentioned steps fails to fix the problem, 
then you should try to reinstall the software. Before you can reinstall BlueStacks, you need to uninstall it first. To do this, click on the Start or Windows button. Then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear to open Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Apps tab. Then at the Apps and Features section, locate and click on BlueStacks App Player. Click on Uninstall and then confirm the action in the resulting pop-up and go through the uninstallation wizard all the way to the end to uninstall the application. Next, navigate to Local Drive C. Then click on Program Data Folder. At the Program Data Folder, right-click on the BlueStack Setup Folder. Press Delete from the drop-down menu and confirm the action in the resulting pop-up. The Program Data Folder is almost always hidden, so you are going to have to File Explorer show all hidden files and folders to see it. Then, exit File Manager. Next, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type percent temp percent and press Enter or click on OK. Then at the temp folder, press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard to select or highlight everything in the folder. Then right-click and click Delete from the drop-down menu, and confirm the action in the resulting pop-up. Next, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type Regedit press Enter or click on OK to launch the registry editor. Then at the Registry Editor section, navigate to the following directory in the left pane of the Registry Editor, key underscore local underscore machine. Then, click on Software Folder. Then, click on BlueStacks Folder. Click on the BlueStacks sub-key under the Software key to have its contents displayed in the right pane. Select everything you see in the right pane of the Registry Editor. Right-click and press Delete and confirm the action in the resulting pop-up. After uninstalling BlueStacks and all its components, you need to reinstall BlueStacks again. To do this, go to BlueStacks website. You can either select the installer you want, either 32 or 64-bit versions of Android, and Windows or Mac from the options on the right side. Or let BlueStacks auto detect the right installer for you according to the OS you are using, and click on Download BlueStacks. Once the download has finished, open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. The micro installer will now download all the necessary files. BlueStacks will now be automatically downloaded, extracted, and installed. When prompted, sign into your existing Google account or create a new one to get started. Check if the BlueStacks fail to connect a server still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed BlueStacks fail to connect to server issue. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.